Yo, what's good? It's Andrew from ProducerSociety.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to edit out vocal breaths in GarageBand. So I'm going to show you how to do it with four different ways. We're going to do it through cutting. We're going to do it through standard cutting in GarageBand, through automation, through Melodyne, and then also through a noise gate. So uh, truthfully, this track, there, there isn't very any significant breaths because the singer already got rid of them by using a noise gate. But regardless, you're still going to learn something. You're still going to learn how to do it from watching me eliminate even more but frankly like this this vocal track it doesn't really need any more breaths removed um but as i just said you're, you're still gonna learn but anyway so let, let's uh let's listen to it right now and then uh and then uh, and then we'll edit some out Diciannove anni, tu sei dieci e mezzo, da allora ne è passato un pezzo, mi ricordo bene, forse anche tu, la prima cena fuori, due Big Mac menu. So you could hear that tiny breath in there. Tu, la prima... Yeah, it's like right here. So let's actually, let's play it. La prima... So it's about right here, I would say. Let's go like that. We'll bring that like right over to like here. Hit Command T. We're hitting Command T, by the way. Command T is how you cut. So let's listen to that now. So yeah, as you can see, like we got rid of it, but it almost got rid of like transients and it got rid of a little bit too much. And that's because there's already so it's already been like there's hardly anything there. So but either way, so, so, there we go. I sounded all right there. But there's too much. Right. So, I mean, real realistically, you wouldn't even want to get rid of that breath because it's so small. But anyway, another way of going about it um, is to go just to use automation. So you go like this, hit A on your keyboard, and then you select some automation points like that. Usually four like this, two on each side. And then like you drop it down like that. Let's drop it like, like that. Yeah. Now let's see how that sounds. So that actually sounded a little better. So that's number two. That's the second way of doing it. And then, uh, so let's get rid of these automation points right now, actually. So the next way of doing it is with Melodyne. Um, I always talk about Melodyne in my videos because it's amazing. And I think it's, I think it's amazing. And you should definitely get it. If you don't want to pay for it, get the 30 day trial, which will be in the video description as usual. However, you should get it at some point in time because it's, it's, it's fantastic and I think it's one of the best software that you could get for GarageBand. Um, but anyway, so let's, uh, let's find the, so I've already printed in the track. I've already printed in the, the vocal track into GarageBand and you do that by hitting the transfer button. But anyway, so like now that this is on, all right, we're going to find the vocal breaths in Melodyne and then we're going to delete it there. So there's actually one right here. So you can actually click on it. It's right here. So you can hear that, right? So if I can delete that. Now let's try that again. Let's listen to it. So let's let's actually put it back in now. And then just for comparison's sake. Now let's get rid of it again. Let's play it. Not sure why there's automation. I thought I turned it off. Oh, there it is. There is still automation on that track. That's not good. It's not what I wanted. Let's get that. Yeah, there we go. Um, so yeah, Melodyne without a doubt is the best way of doing this stuff. Like the way that it gets rid of the... The way it gets rid of vocal bleed and and, and headphone bleed and uh, vocal breaths is just, it's unparalleled. It does it so much better than anything else. Let's do one more just as a demonstration. Just because I'm, I'm just so amazed every time I use this software. It's like, wow, that was like utterly perfect. 
in terms of what it's able to do. Allora ne è passato un pezzo, mi ricordo bene, forse anche tu, la prima cena fuori. So there's another one. There's another one. It's right at seven, I believe. Let's uh, zoom in on here and then we'll hit play again. Zoom in. Prima cena fuori due Big Mac menu. That's not it. E anche forse anche tu la prima cena forse anche tu la prima cena. There we go. So it's right here. There you can click on it. It's a good breath. So let's just let's delete it. Six. Then, then we're gonna hit this again. Forse anche tu la prima cena. So it just straight up gets rid of it in a way that is just amazing. <laughs> It's straight up amazing. Um, but yeah, so that's how you do it with Melodyne. Frankly, these breaths, as I've already mentioned, they're not too obtrusive. And in fact, I think they're perfect. You wouldn't even need to get rid of them. But um, regardless, like that's that's how you would do it with Melodyne. It's, it's uh, I love it. And uh, what was the last one? Oh yeah, also with the noise gate. So you can do all this stuff with the noise gate as well. And uh, let's do that right now. Camicetta bianca e le mie bans nere, patatine fritte e coca da bere. Prendi un bicchiere di calla fragola, allunga un dia, allunga. There's one right there. That's a good one. Allunga un. That's a good one. In fact, I probably should have got rid of that before when I was uh, when I uh, first mixed this track. But anyway, so let's let's actually like, put a, a loop on there right now. That way we can see what we're doing. So let's put the noise gate on. I use the Bob Perry noise gate. This one is great. I've already talked about it in one of my other videos. But uh, what's great about it is that it's more it's more specific and it's more it's it's through the additional parameters. It's it's it allows for more spe specificity and and allows you to be more uh, precise in terms of what you're doing. And also it gives you the option of like making it more natural. Because sometimes with the GarageBand's natural or with GarageBand's default noise gate, it's um, it's it can be too overbearing because there's only one parameter. You just adjust it like this, right? You just do it like that, and frankly, it's just it's just a little much, right? It's a little much. So um, let's get rid of that noise gate now. There we go from the signal chain. Um, yeah. So here it is again. So let's put the Bob Perry noise gate on. Sorry, my uh, system's overloading just because it's running so many different software right now. So there we go. We just got rid of it right there. Um, so let's play that back. So frankly, we actually did. We did too much to get rid of that noise gate. Um, so we'll actually do that again. So there we go. We took out a majority of it now and it's not messing with the rest of the track. So let's do a comparison now. We'll put that back, actually back on like that. So let's turn this off. 
So it did a pretty good job of getting rid of that. Um, so the re uh, you probably saw me messing with Melodyne just now. I had to turn that off. And that's because I printed Melodyne in. I printed the track into Melodyne already. So like you can't you can't be adjusting things after you've already printed it into Melodyne. Like you have to do all your stuff. Um, like you have to do the Melodyne thing. Um, like you have to do your pitch correction stuff first. Like you can't be like messing around with all this stuff after it unless you change Melodyne in the signal chain. But uh, anyway, so that's the fourth way of doing it. Um, I hope this was helpful to you. Make sure you like and subscribe. And then I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, peace.